Hello everybody. Today I want to share with you one of my favorite uh, go-to coding environment that I use or at least I find myself using a lot lately. This is gitpad.io. Um, I use it uh, when I'm not home, when I'm not with my computer, and if I need to code, for example. Um, one of the reasons I like gitpad.io is because it has a lot of resemblance with Visual Studio Code, one of the one of my favorite uh, coding environment on my computer. So, for example, within Gitpad, I can use my favorite. Uh, VS Code extensions. That is really neat. So I could use that. You know, I have, uh, you know, co quite a few VS Code extensions on my computer at home. And if I'm not home, I could still use those extensions. And obviously, the second part is Gitpad has a generous free uh, account. That, could, that you could use. Um, so, for example, lately they offer 100 coding hours for free, but your Gitpad repository, which is also required to work with Gitpad, has to be public. So you can't use a private uh, a repository. Um, so yeah, really, you can basically you can get started for free right now. You can get coding right now for free with Gitpad.io. So please uh, follow along, and uh, hopefully this is useful to you. And I'm going to show you how I use Gitpad.io. All right, so I'm going to log in. Um, if you do not have an account, you could still click login. It's, it's going to register you uh, the same. So I'm going to log in with my Git, uh, GitHub account. Now that is required. You have to either use GitHub, GitLab, or Bitbucket. So you can register with your typical name, username, password, email, that kind of thing. You have to register with these accounts. And if you have already started uh, uh, developing, uh, having a GitHub account or any other Git repository is really important. All right, so I'm going to click uh, here, Git GitHub. And here I am uh, in within the landing page. Um, I do not have any workspaces yet. Now, what is a workspace? Uh, a workspace is basically where all your, your, the links to your code basically is. So, for example, previously, before now, I have had uh, an account with a uh, couple uh, Git repositories within my workspaces. So for example, if you have, this is how they will appear this way. Um, but now because there isn't any, um, I need to create one. But um, so I could uh, do this, right? Okay. Now it's gonna tell you, you need to go to your GitHub account, all of that. And that's what I want to show you here. So basically to use Gitpad, to be able to import your GitHub repository and code, um, you, need, uh, you need to go to GitHub. That's kind of how you start off with Gitpad. All right, so let me go to my GitHub. Let me see. Let me see, let me see. Let me go to one of the projects that I'm currently working. 
which is this is a React uh, front end for one of my freelance jobs that I'm working on right now. Okay, so here I am. I went to my GitHub login and click on the repository that I want to work on. Now, what you need to do next is to go to the address bar right here, okay? And place your cursor right at the beginning of the address. So this is the entire address. Press your cursor right at the beginning and type this with me. gitpod.io slash hash. I'm going to highlight what I added right here. gitpod.io slash hash. And that's really it. What this would do is it will go ahead and create a, re, a repository within Gitpad. All right, so let me click enter. So click enter. So it's uh, starting. It's basically creating a new development environment for you to start coding. Um, it takes a uh, highest a minute. Um, if you have a decent uh, internet, as you can see, this is probably less than a minute. Uh, okay, no, not now. I'm not uh, interested in that for now. So really, that is it. Uh, now you have a workable coding environment where you could pull, you know, if you are used to um, Visual Studio Code, this should look a little familiar with Visual Studio Code. So here you have your file tab. Um, here you can search. Um, here are where your Git uh, actions uh, take place. Uh, um, this is your debugger, and this way you search for extensions. So one of my favorite extensions is Tailwind uh, CSS Intelli Intelligence. I'm going to install it, install for this project. Now I'm going to install for my entire account. And as you can see, it's installing. Um, all right. Um, yeah, so really, if that's what you're interested in, that's really how to pull, how to go from your GitHub account to GitPod to start coding right away. Um, now, uh, now, if you want to see, you, if you are interested in seeing me uh, kind of get this thing started, you can hang around and I will see how I can get, uh, basically get everything started and show you here in the browser. Um, the first thing I need to do is to go to the grocery stores of code and install all my dependencies. So basically what I'm doing here right now is when I go to this file, my packet.json file. So what I'm doing basically right now is I'm going to the NPM store to download all these packages, all of them. As you can see, I'm using quite a few packages. Um, so if you're not familiar, NPM is basically like the grocery store of code. Um, like we go to a grocery store um, to buy stuff, right? Um, so, so, oh, that's not uh, NPM. No, that's <laughs> sticking me to the wrong place in PM. Um, 
So yeah, this is the website that hosts um, all the amazing packages that I'm using. Um, anyway, so I think it's finished uh, downloading what I need. Um, now I need to get my server started. npm run dev. And if I have everything um, configured correctly, um, this should start uh, with no issue. So as you can see, this is already okay. So it's com compiled successfully. Um, so just giving the options to either open uh, my website um, in the preview, which is here. I'm going to show you. So this is the preview environment. Or you can hide it. Or if you want to open it in the browser, um, you can still come to this tab and open it in the browser and be able to open it. That's it, guys. Uh, um, that's uh, that about uh, yitpod.io, really one of my favorite uh, coding environment uh, that I use. Now, before I go, though, let me show you the uh, pricing. Subscription. So, I have 50 hours a month that I could use for free. It used to be 100 hours, but now it's reduced to 50. Or if you want to pay a little bit more, $9 a month, you get 100 hours a month. So 100 hours of coding, basically. Anytime you launch, let me exit. Basically, anytime you launch, you open this, um, your your time starts to accrue. And then there are other tiers as well. So I have uh, paid in the past. Um, so as you can see, I'm a fan of Gitpad. So um, if obviously you are done, you could easily stop your coding environment so that your time will stop accruing. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, for hanging with me till the end, uh, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.